What's up, everyone? James Lynch here. I got an update on Dominic Reyes, uh, the UFC light heavyweight who we have not seen fight since he lost to Ryan Spann. Uh, he's been under the cage for a bit. I uh, posted this on Twitter earlier. Uh, Dominic Reyes uh, had a life-threatening blood clot, which took him out of the rumored March 30th fight against Carlos Olberg. Uh, he's doing better now, but we did a really, really revealing interview here with Dominic Reyes, and, and I'll talk about that interview in a second here. I wanted to do a bit of a different video here today and, and talking about an interview I just did because there's a couple things I wanted to kind of talk about from that and some things that I wanted to uh, kind of dig into a little bit in this video because I do have a lot of people hitting me up asking me what's going on with Dominic Reyes. And as you guys know, Dominic Reyes does not do a lot of media these days, uh, but Dominic Reyes and I go way back. I don't know if you guys are aware. I actually went back and looked up the first interview we ever did. Uh, this was back six years ago when he fought for LFA so this is how far we go back and again if you're any new media people out there that's why it's key to interview these regional fighters because sometimes they end up going on to be bigger uh, names than you would expect but let's talk about some of the key things in the interview first off the blood clot so kind of to summarize the interview and again you guys can watch it after uh, Reyes said that he was you know really firing on all cylinders uh, after um, you know the loss to Ryan Spann he took a lot of time off obviously three straight losses in the octagon not good optics there and Reyes basically moved back to California of course, if you remember, he's with Glover to Sharon Alex Pereira and his team out there. Uh, kind of said the camp didn't go so well for that Ryan Spann fight. He actually was very revealing about that. Didn't make any excuses, but he just sort of, you know, was given an honest assessment of that fight with Ryan Spann, said it was not very ideal, and basically said that going into the Olberg fight, which if you guys remember was initially scheduled for UFC 297 in Toronto, he said he was, you know, basically felt like the old Dominic Reyes, the Reyes that we saw, you know, go on an undefeated run in the UFC and all that. So uh, it was kind of interesting to hear that, and, you know, I, I know he's just saying this and we didn't get a chance to show it, but you could really hear in his answers here uh, that, that, you know, he did feel like he was kind of back to his old self. So that was really encouraging to hear in the interview, uh, but just some terrible luck. And uh, I'm not even going to go through the replies on this tweet here. Of course, we're getting the usual, oh, he's scared. He doesn't want to fight Olberg, all this stuff. I mean, the guy almost died, right? Because of a blood clot. And he, and he sort of talked about that in the interview. And he was, he was a bit emotional in the interview and, and full credit to Reyes. I mean, again, uh, a lot of these fighters do not have to be honest. They don't have to tell us the whole thing, but he was very raw, very emotional in this interview and very much appreciated that. But uh, the latest is, is that Dominic Reyes uh, again, waiting to hear when he's allowed to return. You know, three months minimum he's out uh, with this blood clot. He's on blood thinners. That's when he can get off them in the three month mark. And then he'll sort of reassess and go from there. But he's back in California training with his original team, which is the Dan Henderson uh, team, which, you know, Jared Vandera was there. Sean Strickland was there a while, a uh, long time ago. Sam Alvey was there. Um, so he's back with his old team really looking to kind of rejuvenate what, what's happened in his career. And one of the things I brought up in the interview that I wanted to kind of pull back the layers a bit here is that, you know, I asked him, I said, was retirement ever on your mind? And, and he says, no, you know, he, he always believed in himself and really felt like he could go out there and, and make a bit of a comeback. And I know optically it's not looking very good, but if you just watch this interview, you kind of understand uh, where Reyes is coming from, some of the things he's had to go through. And a lot of fighters would probably just, you know, pack it in and say, I'm done. That's it for my career. But Reyes really believes in himself. And this is just another setback. I guess the good news here, if you want to take a silver lining here, is that it's not something where he was knocked out again or anything like that, right? You got to worry when you have as many knockouts as uh, losses as he does. He's got three in a row. Uh, so we sort of discussed that and got, got some thoughts and some other stuff. You know, John Jones, uh, obviously the whole situation with him and not fighting Tom Aspinall. We talked about that. We talked about Sean Strickland, who he trained with briefly at Extreme Couture. I thought they actually trained together at Team Quest, but apparently not. Uh, apparently Sean was there after Reyes had left or something along those lines or Sean came after. can't remember exactly what happened there, but um, I just wanted to mention this because I get a lot of people hitting me up asking about Dominic Reyes and I'll tell you exactly how the interview went down again, just to peel the curtain back a little bit here. Um, I had texted Dominic Reyes, I think about a week and a half ago and I didn't hear anything. And typically when I reach out to fighters, you know, I'll maybe shoot them one message and then maybe I'll shoot another one a couple days and just, you know, maybe they didn't see the message or they needed a reminder just to see if they'd be interested in doing an interview. And Reyes or Dominic has, has been a little bit different uh, with that compared to some of the other fighters I reach out to. Like, you know, there, there's times when I remember there was one time we were supposed to do an interview and he's like, hey man, not ready to do it. I'm like, totally fine, right? Because some guys, you know, if you're doing an interview, it's out there for the world to see. You, you don't want, um, you know, you don't want to look bad, right? So I, I, I give them lots of time. And again, we have a lot of history together as far as doing interviews. So I didn't want to, you know, put, I didn't want him to do an interview that he wasn't happy with right I wanted him to give his best version of himself and I feel like he did that in today's interview but um yeah I hadn't heard anything from him I, I just had interviewed Uriah Faber just just before this and and Reyes sends me a text and he's like hey um I'm ready to do an interview are you free today and it just so happens I had some time and so we went and we linked up and we did this really really good interview and you can find that interview here on my UFC interviews playlist people always ask I can't find your interviews it's always on the UFC interviews playlist you see all these different outlets I work for uh, the interviews are always on this playlist so I recommend guys going to check this one out 
Um, really raw, really emotional here from Reyes. Maybe there's a bit of empathy here for some people because I know a lot of, again, the hate sells in this industry a lot. People want to, you know, they love it when someone's down and out. And um, I, I recommend everyone just watching this and kind of having a look and kind of getting an understanding where Reyes is at in his career and all that stuff. But again, the, the key things in there that that, that that took place in the interview, and we'll kind of just summarize this up a little bit. So Blood Clot took him out of the fight with Olberg. The Olberg fight was not signed. I, I found that interesting. So the UFC promotes that the fight, the, the, re, uh, the, the rescheduled fight was going to happen on March 30th. Remember, it's supposed to fight UFC 297, which by the way, according to Dom, they were not going to keep him on that card. They always wanted him to fight Olberg. So they ended up rescheduling that to, to March 30th. But according to Reyes, that fight was never signed. So again, another example of how the UFC is, you know, we just saw this with Poirier and St. Denis where, you know, they're announcing fights and they're not signed. So not, not a very good trend that's happening there. Uh, so he talked about that and, and you just, you know, you can just tell the disappointment in, in how he was talking and that he really felt like he was back to his old self in the training and he was very happy about the matchup with Olberg. And then something completely random, a blood clot in his leg, which, again, ended up happening. He ended up finding out about it when he was getting a massage. I mean, has he ha had that not happened, maybe this gets really bad. And maybe he's not here anymore. I mean, it was pretty serious. You could kind of hear the way he was talking about everything, that this was a really serious thing that happened. But... Um, you can just kind of tell right now that, you know, he's in a better place. He's keeping things positive and hopefully we'll see him back. And I'm not doing this video to say that Dominic Grace is going to go back and win a title or anything like that. But I do think it's a, a really good glimpse into, um, you know, where he's at right now in his career, how his, how his beliefs are, you know, he's 34 years old, like where he sees his career heading and, um, you know, gives a little clarification onto a lot of different things, including, you know, what happened in the Ryan Spann fight. Uh, we talked about the Yuri fight a bit, which again, he has no regrets about that fight. He felt like that was a fight that, um, you know, he gave it his all and it was entertaining. He, he felt like the yawn and the span, span fights were fights that he was obviously very upset with because those were mistakes that were made. But in the Yuri fight, I mean, he almost finished him, right? And that's something we sort of covered in the interview as well. So uh, again, the latest right now is Dominic Reyes on the men right now. Uh, we're, we're waiting to hear when he's allowed to come back. He's got the blood clot, but all intentions are he wants to continue his career, wants to keep fighting a light heavyweight. And like I said, I pressed him a, a bit in the interview about retirement, right? Because when you get as many knockout losses as he's had, he's had three in a row now. It's one of those things where um, you do start to think about retirement because is his chin gone? And again, Olberg was not a great matchup in that sense, right? With Olberg obviously having a lot of knockout power, I think a lot of fans felt like, man, like, you know, that that's not a good matchup for him. But we'll see. We'll see what the what he decides to do. We'll see how the timing works out and everything else. And he sort of talked about, you know, in the Blahovich fight and in the Span fight, like he sort of felt that pressure to get the finish, right? Because he couldn't finish Jones. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of people still to this day felt like Reyes won that fight against John Jones. Um, it sort of changed his, his fight style and, and other things. And that sort of led to some of the losses after that. But you look at what he's done previously. I mean, a pretty good run overall as a win over Jared, he finished Jared Cannonier. I think people forget that. I know Cannonier is at 185, but still very interesting to see, um, you know, some of the wins that he's had. And again, fans have a short memory when it comes to this stuff. So uh, again, recommend checking out this interview. This isn't just an infomercial for my Dominic Reyes interview, but did want to mention this in its separate video, just because uh, again, I think a lot of people were asking and wondering what's going on with Dominic Reyes. We didn't get a lot of clarification. We know now it's a blood clot that took him out of the Olberg fight and, uh, We'll see uh, what's next for him after this. So uh, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Just your overall thoughts on Dominic Reyes looking to continue his career. Uh, another setback here. What, what are your thoughts on him? And, uh, you know, just, just again, want to take people back to the Chris Weidman fight way back when. You know, he was looking like a guy that was going to be a UFC champion and obviously ran in, in, in a, you know, three straight losses, four straight losses, I guess now if you can't, uh, John Jones, but three straight knockout losses. Can he, can, he, uh, can he get back to glory? Can he get back to the contender spot? We'll see. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, at Lynch on Sports. I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.